hey guys I have here the Sony Xperia Z Ultra uh, it sort of got bricked due to a OTA upgrade and in this video I'll show you how to fix your phone if you're getting this sort of a message on your Sony Xperia so at this point of time this phone is pretty much useless it won't start it won't charge so when you turn it on it shows a Sony logo uh, this is the default starting screen and then it will show a message that uh, the update, the software update has failed. Make sure your phone is connected to the computer and try again. Uh, this happened due to an OTA upgrade which I was postponing for a long time. Uh, I updated the phone today and during the update the phone, when the phone restarted it sort of got bricked and it's showing that message now. So yeah in this video I'll show you how to fix that. Uh, for that you'll need to download this software called Sony Xperia Companion. Uh, you can download this software through the Sony website. I'll put this link down in the description. So yeah, all you gotta do is download Xperia Companion, install it and then run it. Uh, then when you're running the PC Companion, you, Companion you'll see this uh, window by default. Then select this option called Software Repair. Now select the first option which shows to repair an Xperia phone or tablet. Click here then and it shows that you need to charge the phone 80 percent but unfortunately uh, the charge left on this phone is about 20 percent so 20 or 30 percent so we'll see if this software update is successful or not so click next uh, yes I know my Google account de details and then press next again and by the way guys all your personal information like the applications you've downloaded and all of this stuff on the internal memory will be lost uh, basically what we are doing here is restoring the phone back to the factory conditions so we'll wait until the software is initializing and this is one reason why I tell people not to do an OTA upgrade on these phones and always use a computer to uh, download the update through the PC com uh, Xperia companion because this is much more reliable than doing an OTA upgrade on these phones so still waiting it's initializing I'm just gonna put the camera on the tripod And yes, you'll need the USB micro USB cable to connect your phone to the PC. I've got one here. So we we shall wait until it's initializing. All right, guys. After the software initializing part. Uh, the Xperia companion is telling me that make sure the device is disconnected from computer, turn off the device and wait for 5 seconds. Press and, press and hold the volume down key. So this is the third step is important. That's from where we're going to start. So press, down, press and hold the volume down key on your device. Connect the device to the computer while still holding down the uh, key. So let's see if I can do this on camera. And yeah, I have the USB connected to the computer. Alright, so here is the phone. I'm gonna press and hold the volume down key while I connect the uh, micro USB cable. So press the volume down key. Still nothing. Okay, so I do see something now. Release the volume down key and the phone is still connected to the uh, USB cable. So don't worry if you don't see any lights or anything, but uh, it's now telling me important information. All personal content on device, including contacts, messages, photos, and other data will be lost. Make sure you have a backup of your device before proceeding. The content on SD card will not be erased. So yeah, I understand my that my personal content will be lost and then click click next. And important, do not disconnect your Xperia at this point and click next again. Uh, now the software, the Xperia companion will download uh, around 1.4 gigabytes which is the uh, appropriate firmware for your Xperia phone. This is the Z Ultra so the size will be about 
4 gigabytes so now we're gonna wait until the software is downloaded then it'll automatically install the software onto the uh, onto the uh, Z Ultra so let's wait and see okay guys we're almost done right now it's installing the uh, firmware onto the Sony Xperia please wait finishing installation okay guys once the software repair has finished it'll display this message to disconnect the phone turn on the device note that the first startup may take longer than usual uh, so what I'm gonna do here is dis uh, disconnect the phone and I'm going to turn it on see if it works yes yes it's got life in it there we go now first startup will take a little while but yeah we've brought the phone back to life let's wait for it to finish booting up took around an hour or so so at this point we can just uh, close the PC com Xperia companion and that's it now shut down your computer and do whatever you want but yeah okay guys now you can see the phone is fully functional uh, right now it's turning on so now you can select the language and continue on with the setup so yeah now you can see the phone is fully functional and working So yeah guys, that's all you need to do to fix your Sony Xperia at home. You don't need to go to any service center or pay Sony to just update your software. It's very easy and it takes about an hour or so. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you all later.